Hello and welcome to Master Key Masonry Design. So I'll just go into the Masonry program. So here we have our traditional cavity masonry panel with a 0.75 kilonewton lateral load. So it's a laterally loaded panel. And we can see from our capacity that we have a capacity of 0.893. Now at the moment we're working the BS5628. So I'll just change that to work to the euro code and we're now up to a capacity of 0.94. Inside the euro code I also have options to choose different national annexes and I'm just going to choose the UK national annex which again brings our capacity down to 0.871 so it's a stronger wall to the British uh, national annex. If I look at the wall data it's very simple we can stipulate our height and width of our panel. We can say whether it's two-way spanning, free, vertically spanning, a column, or even a cavity, and also stiffened. So if I just return to two-way spanning, I will see that this wall works and it's got fixed top edge, fixed left and bottom edge. If I was to go and remove the fixed day down to pinned and pinned it still works and take off the pinning on this side and we have pinned all round and it works. If I wanted to I can very simply go to totally free edge at which point the wall does not work. Now I want to just turn back on so it's simply supported on all sides bar the base which is fixed and go to the quick set and I want to turn on the advanced because at the moment we're just using the yield line patterns straight out of the tables in the code. What we're now going to use is the advanced yield line analysis and turning that on with a coarse density we will see that we get a capacity of 0.808 .08, which is a lot better than what we had previously. If I increase that resolution to medium it's 0.82 so it's getting slightly weaker as it gets more accurate so there is a play between the density and the accuracy and if I go to something like fine and once I go into fine or super fine I need to ask it to solve because that will take a second or two to do the computation and there we go 827 so we're well below one so there's no real need to go up to anything higher but this wall as well as being a masonry and block work wall we can see concrete blocks we have clay bricks we have autoclave aerated bricks we have stone we have natural stone so I'm going to stay with the concrete blocks for the inner wall outer leaf we're going to go for clay bricks and I normally prefer 7 to 12 percent as being suddenly there is a requirement to resolve because we're on the fine density. Because there's very little difference between the fine and the medium I will stay back up at the medium and it's pretty instantaneous one two seconds to do a solution. We can also add in loading to our inner leaf and if we want it to our outer lift. So just turn on some vertical loads and here we go we've now got a pair of eccentric loads at a 25mm eccentricity coming on to the inner leaf and the capacity has just changed for us. We also ha have the ability to apply concentrated point loads to the structure as well and it's just added those in and it's now at 0 0.727 for the wall capacity if I scroll down I will see in my results that I am having a warning under the point load at 3.9 meters the local bearing capacity is not very happy 1.5 capacity against 4.9 and that's because I put made the spreader beam very small in the second point load so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to make that 210 by 210 click into another cell, it recalculates and then suddenly everything works. So the spreader beams would work and I could even come along and say well do I need 
as wide as 450. I get it to recalculate and both pads will be fine at only two bricks deep, 210 mil. So that is your point loads, and that is your lateral load is already applied at point 0.7 and we've asked it to make it critical so it is because it's carrying additional physical loading it is a critical wall if it was just a laterally loaded wall with nothing else we could go non-critical and it would be even more conservative but if I now move to my second panel this is a freestanding wall freestanding with 0.75 and it is not working now we don't have many solutions available to us here we can either look at the wall materials and thicken up uh, increase the capacities to an extent or we can change our mortar and our execution designations but we also can introduce piers so if I was to go and introduce piers on this wall we can now find that 450 or 440 wide piers uh, will work giving us a capacity of 0.915. If I was to reduce those piers down to 215 wide, we'll find it doesn't work. Those piers aren't satisfactory. So possibly a 300 and something would work, but I'll just go up to 440. Keep the old mathematics very simple. And we'll see that that pier works. So that's our second type of design. The third type is the same sort of panel, but this time we want to introduce another way of making this wall work. And we want to come to the wall data. We can naturally go and we can make it fully fixed in the two sides. We could actually even say that it's we could say it's a wee bit better than pinned, but not fully sick fixed by putting in a 50% fixity. So there's the solution for you. If you want to stay with the pinned sides, we then have the option of moving to bed reinforcement and we can ask it to have bed reinforcement and I will put inner bed reinforcement and we will not limit it to 50% and I am going to increase that to 5 mil bars at 60, 225, so every other course a little ladder of bed reinforcement 5 mil in diameter in your 10 mil mortar. Moving on we then want to look at openings and walls and we will see that this opening does work 0.95 but as we stated earlier it will tell you if it's greater than 0.95 it'll suggest you go to a higher u-line density so let's go down from coarse to medium to fine so let's go to fine which should take about five seconds to solve and it's done so we're now still seeing 0.958 so going down to fine didn't really have that much of a difference and just to show the difference we will go down to super fine which will take probably 30 or 40 seconds to solve and if you watch the timer down below So after a minute and five seconds we get a solution and we will find that it's virtually no difference so I'm going to set that back in this case to medium density which is a two second job and be happy with it. So that is your panels. Now we also can go far further than this in that we can have a wall with multiple openings I have one, two, three openings, and two of the openings are overlapping. And I can see I've got a stress of 1.19. So we need to either stiffen it. I don't know that bed reinforcement is going to give you that much. We could thicken it. So we could just take the traditional attitude and make the inner leaf, say, a 140. Recalculating, and a 140 wall will work. So if you're allowed to, a 140 wall would be the solution. Coming back, if I want to keep it nice and thin, my other alternative is to put in a wind post. So I'm going to add a wind post. It's going to be a 2 
100 by 75 and it's going to sit right on the edge or about 50 mil from the edge um, just so we get the centroid of the uh, post and we will see that with that it is now working and that one little wind post attached to the wall has stabilized it and this is the more critical panel to this one you would see if I moved that to 2.0 05 so over to this wall edge and got it to recalculate that this would now be the most critical so this is the most critical that's least critical and it's a higher value so in essence you would probably want to be at 2.9 to get a nice centroid in there on that and just click on another cell to update the calcs and we'll see there's a 0.95 so that's a stronger um, place to locate your wind post. So um, very useful tools. You can also add in posts that are user defined. So we have channels, angles, hollow sections, eye sections all available to you. Um, we can have them bending about their minor axis. So at the minute this one I have in here is sitting half in the cavity half in the wall um, but if you wanted to make sure we didn't have any cold bridging you would might put it on the inside of the uh, wall and therefore you would want to turn it around by 90 degrees and that's going to recalculate it's going to give you a weaker capacity for 499 instead of the 495 very little difference in this case you can put in a user defined moment capacity so you could introduce some section capacities yourself and work on that. So it is a very, very flexible program. So just to summarize, back to the start, the program will give you simple lateral and vertical loading on panels. You can have freestanding walls with piers. You can have reinforced masonry. You can have simple openings and you can have complex openings in the program. Please feel welcome to request a free trial on the software. So just go straight into masterseries.com and then click on the icon, in this case for masonry, click on the masonry button and you will find that down here there's an option to request a free trial. In you go, fill in a couple of details and you will within minutes be able to get a free trial on the full masonry program.